In this video, which is part 47 of the coin market cap series for Chart.js, we're going to work on the interpolation. If you follow along with the entire series and you are where you are right now, you have noticed that the interpolation was slightly off. And I said it multiple times, I would not spend too much time on it anymore. However, after some research, it, I figured out where the core issue is. And we're going to solve that issue. You can see here now, the interpolation is exactly on point now. If I zoom in, you will see it will still stay at the right location. If I move faster, what happened here? There you are, you can see this works all fine. Beautiful. Let's start to work on this and fine tune this right now. So let's start to look at the interpolation right now. So what we have here, and this was a wow being a eyesore for me. Well, I accepted it as at the time because I couldn't figure it out. I already have an answer to solve this. Because you can see here, if I hover here, look what happens. So let me explain why this happened. So we have an understanding what is going on. So in general, we had our calculation here, but remember that when I wanted to put in this with that as aligned as possible, it was not possible because we had here like the so-called offset. If I zoom in here, you will see it very clearly. Uh, let me just zoom in completely like that. All right, so we have this offset here. And what is happening now, of course, is we're going to get an issue here. This works all fine, but this offset here basically changes the starting point of every segment. As you can see here, you can see the segment here calculates at this point, which is correct if this would be just a line chart. But because we have a, a bar chart or bar line combo chart, we are now having this offset here. And this offset creates a real eyesore as you can see here it re or it miscalculates everything so to solve this we need to work on that specific part so let's go down here and we're going to go to uh, line 500 plus where we're going to adjust the uh, crosshair point so scroll down here to 585 probably uh, let's see here this is the crosshair point that's the function we want and then we have to be here somewhere in this area so let me explain here then the issue. We had the calculation, but something was not correct. And the reason why is because of the width here. The width calculates the full width from left to right. And that is an issue because we don't start at the left to right. We start just slightly a few pixels away from it. And that explains our wrong interpolation here. So how do we do this? Well, luckily this is still a quite easy item because we did a lot of heavy lifting so what i'm going to do here is uh well let's say here we have this point this needs to be recalculated we're not allowed to use this width here but what we need to do is basically the width minus the left offset and afterwards also the uh, offset and then afterwards also right offset so that's basically what we need and the right offset i'm referring to the right side here, go here. Oh, that's what happened here? I'm, I'm able to drag it. Oh, interesting. I'm not even able to drag that. I have to check what's going on there. Anyway, that might be another video. But if you can see here, this is the right offset. We have the right and left one here. So what we want to do now is to make sure that this is all correctly done. So how do we calculate that? Well, the right and left offset is basically this so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to say here constant width number two will be equal to this this minus whatever these two are or this could be plus those two together and then minus on the width or deduct from the width so that is the first item if you're going to put in this here make sure you spell this correctly i'm going to put that one eventually in there so now what I need to do is I need to figure out what is then the left offset. So I'm going to do here, let's put that here above, a constant and we say here left offset. And what is the left offset in this case equals, we need to calculate the, uh, basically here the min value, whatever that min value is. So it's a x dot get pixel for the min value and then what we will do is we will deduct this from the left 
what happens here because this one is bigger than left we will have here probably like two or three pixel difference so if we do console log grab this save refresh open up developer tab you can see here that is number that's this one probably here let me make sure that this is zoomed in properly all right so that's 586 that is correct 586 equals approximately two pixels if we adjust this we might have a new calculation there you are two plus pixels and if i do this what happens then I zoom in and if i move where exactly are we triggering it I, i'm not sure where we're triggering it but it does change here as you can see here so that tiny difference is working so that's number one let's do exactly the same one but then for the right offset so the right offset is exactly the opposite of what we did here. Here we're going to do the max, but then I need to rotate those two. I'm going to say here, this will be based on the right minus the max value. The max value will never surpass the right side because if not, it will be outside of the chart. That makes sense. It's just before that, maybe a few pixels. So once we have this, I can now say here with number two will be equal to that. And then I'm going to copy this and put that in there. And then it's basically a few pixels difference. So if I save this, refresh. All right. So now we have here a bit, but we're still slightly off. So what we need to do here is to one last calculation that is down here into the index. So the index here must be also recalculated because we say here starting at left. Remember, we had to do here a adjustment because it's not really completely left so we're going to say here the offset i'm going to grab and what i will do here that instead of starting at left i want to say start at left plus offset left which is maybe two or three pixels so then we have this so we plus that on the x coordinate and then we recalculate this and this should now give us the desirable effect so if i now move look at that it works all exactly as expected all right so you can see here let's move 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 all right and now i'm going to zoom in then let's move again you can see here now it really really works make sure we have this all if i zoom in again let's see here let's move here see if we see anything but our formula and logic should be ex uh, uh, completely correct now so there you are so this is basically it you can see even at the very end here I'm not sure if the end of the beginning here will be calculated. Oh, it does. As you can see here, it really works perfectly. Absolutely phenomenal. And if I move this, let's see what happens then. Do we get anything? Oh, what do you have here? All right. No, that's fine. We're just moving fast. There we are. So this is basically the interpolation and the perfect formula for that. So in the next video, I'm going to look for another bug that we have to solve while there's still a lot more to do, by the way.